Hello, my miracles. It is another coffee and crime. Grab your coffee. We're going to talk some crime. And we're going to jump right into it. Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle was born on March 24th, 1887. Arbuckle was one of the most popular silent stars of the 1910s. He would become one of the highest paid actors in Hollywood. He would mentor Charlie Chaplin, discover Buster Keaton and Bob Hope. Arbuckle signed a contract in 1920 with Paramount Pictures for $1 million. Between November 1921 and April 1922, Fatty Arbuckle was the defendant in three publicized trials for the rape and manslaughter of Virginia Rapp. On September 5th, 1921, Arbuckle was taking a break from his hectic filming schedule and despite suffering second degree burns on his buttocks from an accident on a movie set, he and two friends drove to San Francisco where they checked into the St. Francis Hotel. Arbuckle and his two friends checked into three rooms and began inviting people over for a party. Several women were invited to the party, including 26-year-old aspiring actress Virginia Rapp and her friend Bambina Delmont. During the party, Virginia was found seriously ill in one of the rooms. She was examined by the hotel doctor who concluded Virginia was just intoxicated. He gave her a dose of morphine to calm her down. It was stated that Virginia suffered from chronic cystus, a condition that liquor irritated dramatically. Two days after the party, Virginia went to the hospital. Her friend that accompanied Virginia to the party claimed that Virginia had been raped by Arbuckle at the party. When the doctor examined Virginia, he found no evidence of rape. One day after she was hospitalized, Virginia died of a ruptured bladder. Rumors flew after Bambina went to the police and reported the rape. Police concluded that with Arbuckle's weight, he could have caused Virginia's death. Arbuckle denied any wrongdoing, yet he was arrested on September 17, 1921, and put on trial, which began on November 14, 1921. On November 28th, Arbuckle testified that he had known Virginia Rapp for five or six years. He testified that during a party, a friend needed a ride to town. He went into his room to change his clothes and found Virginia in the bathroom vomiting. He stated that she said she needed to lay down, so he carried her into the bedroom and laid her down on the bed. Arbuckle asked a few of the party guests to keep an eye on Virginia. When he and a few of his guests re-entered the room, they found Virginia on the floor tearing at her clothes and going into violent convulsions. To calm her down, they placed her in the bathtub of cool water. Arbuckle called the hotel doctor, who concluded she was only drunk. Arbuckle testified that he had no knowledge of Virginia's illness. The first two trials resulted in hung juries. The third trial resulted in an acquittal. The jury even wrote an apology letter to Arbuckle. Despite his acquittal, Arbuckle's career never was the same. His films were banned for a year and he was publicly ostracized. Fatty Arbuckle would work as a film director under the alias of William Goodrich. And finally, in 1932, he returned to acting, making short two real comedies for Warner Brothers. At the age of 46, in 1933, Roscoe Arbuckle died in his sleep of a heart attack. It was stated that on that same day he signed a contract with Warner Brothers to make a feature film. My personal opinion. Virginia Rapp was known to be a very heavy drinker and with her chronic cystus, I think that caused her death. Um, do I believe that Fatty Arbuckle um, took advantage of her and raped her and eventually caused her death? In all honesty, I don't believe that. Um, people may disagree with me, but there's an intuition that you have, uh, a gut feeling that you have on some of these crimes. And this one especially, I believe that Fatty Arbuckle was in the wrong place at the wrong time. He was known to be very shy towards women. He was known to just want to be the life of the party. And I think Virginia Rapp was very sick 
and it eventually caught up with her. So what do you think of this crime? Do you believe Fatty Arbuckle was guilty or innocent? Comment down below. If you liked this video of Coffee and Crime, click that like button. And if you are not a miracle and want to be, click that subscribe button. Watch Miracle Happen. I will see you guys tomorrow. I love you so much. Bye.